bugs everywhere. Like cockroach bugs. Last night we saw so many of them. They're everywhere. And then we just happened to look outside. We came for a walk, so we're right across the street. The sun is going down. Look at this. There's the sunset. It's like something right out of a scary movie, actually. <laughs> I don't know why we think we need to go adventuring at, at night or at dusk so we can get lost out in the desert. <laughs> At least it's not like Joshua Tree where we were actually truly lost in the desert. Nature trail hike. Yeah. Sunset still going. But it's getting dark, so we're gonna gotta head back. There's the city lights. This is where it ends up. Look at this. This must be where the they bring the cows to graze. Look at all that field. Wow. Lots of open space. Right now we got the birds at sunset flying around. Lots of wildlife. And that's where we came from, right there. bugs everywhere, like cockroach bugs. Last night we saw so many of them. They're everywhere. And then we just happened to look outside. And look who lives under here. Big, oh, there's another one. There she is. Huge black widows. What do you think, honey? Oh, man. Scary. Hold on. Um, I think we have to relocate them. But they're beautiful. They're very beautiful. They're very beautiful, but there's some. There's three really, really big ones, at least, that live here under our stairs. All right, I guess we should, should go make fine. some dinner. It's like 9 o'clock at time night. time to eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, and it's getting late. All right, we just had to pump a bunch of water because the water guy never showed up. He's late already, and he never showed up, and so we had to go find a, an extra piece. Yeah, so that we can get the remaining of the water that's below where our pump is able to pull it out. And we handled it. We got it done. We got a lot more water in the house, and we're happy about it. Yeah, well, thank God we had that extra piece that drops down into the tank, or that... we would have been without water tonight. That would not be cool. No. That... That water pump is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, and for like 60 bucks. So we'll have to um, see if we can find a different water service company, I guess. Yeah, so Someone who's gonna show up. <laughs> Absolutely. Water's important. Water's important. Water's important, what she said. Okay, well, let's go eat. Bye, ladies, we'll see you later. Okay, so you put your piece you're cutting off here, since you're left-handed. Yeah, I am. What's the cord for? I, I just wanted a cord. <laughs> can you see your mark? I can see everything. As long as you can see it, because I can't. <laughs> now, when you cut... I'm up. I'm up. I'm up.
Pro. When you that's cut. what I am. Oh, much better. I can see things now. <laughs> Let me cut it for you. Plunge cut. Ah! Hey, so check it out. Okay, bedroom is a disaster right now because we had to fix the um, pole that goes across that hang um, you hang all your clothes on. It was coming down. And, you know, we've been without lights in the bedroom for like two weeks <laughs> because it said that, that there's a um, fuse, a DC fuse box somewhere in the wardrobe. And we kept looking and looking and looking. And then for some reason, I never, apparently I never looked in the um, owner's manual and it said specifically in the bedroom overhead. And so check it out. Check this out. Honey, can you open that? It's up there. La 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 la, can you see? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, I think you can see it. So anyway, it's up there. It's up in the top of that. That guy. Very happy about that. So happy about that. Yeah, so it's in there above the bed. Where, like right where we just would have probably never in a million years looked. So we have lights and we don't have to call an electrician. We fix it ourselves. And we got water today. We had run out of water. It was kind of scary. We were down to like the last couple gallons and our tank was empty. So we got water and we fixed our lights. And now we're just putting the bedroom back together. Almost done. Yay. <laughs> Just silly boy. Just silly boy. No more and don't come in the house. Okay, that's it. Stay there. Okay, hold on. Let me see what else I have for you. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Where are you and Curly going? I don't know where he's going. He's traveling around. Go, go. Go home. <laughs> What's going on, Aaron McNair? Is Curly trying to eat everything? Yes, he wants to eat my hands too and my feet. <laughs> Behave yourself, Curly. Get him, Curly. Get him. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I think he's going to try to eat the garden now. Well, clearly you're not done, Curly. I am done. <laughs> Back up off me, homie. See you later, Curly.
we're getting it done. Over there in McNair. Hey, hey. There's Steve. Nala, back up. You look so There's cute. Nala. You look so cute, my boy. We're doing this right here. There's a chicken coop. It's going to be twice the size that it was. Hi, ladies. There's three chickens. Oh, there's the Gibbons. They're going to get a whole new home and they don't even know it. Hi, ladies. Go, go. Look how pretty they are. A new home, sweetheart. <laughs> I know, honey. All right, mama. Here comes your new home. Oh, my. Here comes the other one. Whoa. Whoa you're, you're behaving better the second time around. When we started, the whole chicken coop was just this box. It was just this little box right here. And now, all this has been added. So now they had, they didn't have outside access before. It was one, literally was a box with no ventilation other than what was at the top. And now, look at these girls. They have all this room out here. They'll get a little sunshine as the sun moves around. We've got a tarp. Still have their roof. And where this was closed off right there, see the line? But now it's fun in here. There's things to do and they have their own little nesting box. So much better. That's what it sounds like when you live next to somebody who raises cows for food. Distress, pain, anguish. And that's what you get to listen to. This is day two of this guy riding this horse and he can barely walk. What the f is this guy doing on this horse? staging area for the Texas fire. You can see it right from our house, right from my window. Oh, there's our window. There's the fire. It's not too bad now. It was pretty bad before. It's just on the other side of those hills though. A little scary. <sighs> I know. 
it's the end of <laughs> our little era of our RV life. Oh my gosh, that didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> first time homeowner, homeowners, and now it's going to another couple. It's their first home, and uh, everything's all empty and closed <laughs> in. Oh, it's so weird. So now it's going away. We have a. It was a great experience. We're really it was. very happy we did it, and now we're off to something new. We can't wait to new show you. New adventures, and it's just fun and beautiful and serene, and life is good. There it goes. Oh, okay, my, God. Go we can catch oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> These are the crazy people who bought it. Yay! Right, Janeway. There it goes, honey. Wow. Just like where it came when it came in, remember? Yep. Kind of weird. It's all gone. It's all gone. We're done. Time to go back to paradise. Boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go say goodbye to the goats. No, 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 no. No, no, we're done. I know, baby. I know. I know. How you doing? Worry about your cough. Worry about your coughing. Take a nap.